friends, guests, and colleagues in public health, welcome to the completion ceremony of the second batch um, of the Nurse Lead um, Project, the Leadership Course for Advanced Practice in Public Health Nursing. So I'll be your facilitator and moderator um, for this uh, momentous um, event. And um, we would like to enjoin everyone to ensure the smooth flow of the program and um, to guarantee the solemnity of recognizing everybody's efforts for the course. We'd like to request everyone uh, to keep your um, audio um, muted um, and uh, use, by the way, the camera later on for our photo opportunities and use also the reactions button um, as needed, okay, to make it engaging as well. At this point, we would like to recognize the efforts of the people who journeyed with our scholars um, in their weeks of working on um, their competencies in preparation for advanced practice. Ladies and gentlemen, a virtual round of applause for the course team behind Nurse Lee.
Ladies and gentlemen, friends, the Philippine National Anthem. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. To formally welcome all of us in this completion ceremony, may we call on the virtual floor to deliver her opening remarks. The Dean of the College of Nursing of the University of the Philippines, Manila, Professor Dr. Sheila Bonito. Thank you, Earl. And, uh, Good afternoon to everyone and magandang hapon po sa lahat and we welcome the presence of our dear Chancellor, uh, Dr. Carmen Sita Padilla, who is joining us live this uh, afternoon. Thank you, Chancellor, for, um, uh, for being with us. So uh, congratulations to our nurse leaders on completing the course. You have done well despite juggling many responsibilities in your home and the challenges of work in the field amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and the recent impact of Typhoon Odette. So congratulations for persevering and uh, really uh, ensuring that you are part of us in this completion ceremony. Today, we are ending the training of the second batch of the public health nurse leaders who heeded the call and started the journey with us on November 8. We have 44 nurses who have chosen this path of caring for individuals and populations in the public health setting. As we have discussed over the past few weeks during our Zoom sessions and also in the course site, there are many challenges that we, are, uh, we, fla that we face to implement the universal health coverage. And we hope that through this course, we have provided you with some insights to possible solutions, as well as provided you with support for you to continue doing your best as public health nurses. We have more plans of building our community of practice of public health nurse leaders, and we want you to have an active part in it. At this point, let me thank the program sponsor, uh, our partner, the Johnson & Johnson Foundation, uh, through the Global Community Impact who believed in our vision of public health nurse leaders, leading the implementation of universal healthcare and achieving the health outcomes for the Filipinos. Thank you also to the Department of Health uh, through the Health Human Resources Development Bureau led by Dr. Precher Tolentino for supporting the role of public health nurses and allowing them to grow in the profession within the public health system. We hope that we will continue supporting each other to address the long-term need for nurses in every barangay and to advance public health nursing in the Philippines. And thank you to UP Manila for the support of the activities of the UP College of Nursing, including its continuing education and community extension program like this nurse lead program. Thank you to our invited resource persons who developed the course with us and share their expertise during the discussion forums. Thank you to the course team as uh, introduced earlier who, dev who devoted their time and energy to see to the course uh, for its uh, completion and for finding ways to improve and innovate for the current and future offerings. And to you, our nurse leaders, as we close the online course, we hope that we open a new chapter in your lives. There's much to do as nurse leaders, managers, at, and collaborators. And we look forward to meeting you again in our future nurse lead summit. 
uh, where we hope to learn more about the, out the outcomes of your capstone projects. UPCN promises to continue to support your lifelong learning and building a community of practice uh, of public health nurses. More power to public health nurse leaders. Thank you and back to you, Earl. Thank you so much, uh, Dean Sheila. Now, as a tribute um, to the hard work of our nurse leaders and their contribution um, to their respective um, areas of assignment and to the communities that they serve, joining us this afternoon to deliver her message is an icon of public health who made newborn screening, I'm sure all of us okay, are aware of that, who made newborn screening possible um, in improving health outcomes. Um, for the community and for the nation. I have the distinct honor of welcoming on the virtual floor the Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Manila, Professor Dr. Carmencita David Padilla. Chancellor. Thank you, Earl. This is College of Nursing Dean and Nurse Lead Coordinator Sheila Bonito, faculty, staff, and students of the College of Nursing, Graduates, guests, good afternoon. Today, we celebrate the second batch of nurses who completed 148 hours of virtual sessions of the leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing or nurse lead. You are now better prepared and trained to serve the Filipinos and the rest of humanity. Since its launch in September, the UP College of Nursing and Johnson & Johnson Global Community Impact have been on track towards the goal of enriching the nurses' competencies in extending primary health care and other population-based health services. Part of the training is augmenting their skills in collaborating with relevant stakeholders and agencies in the management and delivery of primary health care services and programs, and which can also be applied in other administrative endeavors. We commend the College of Nursing for fulfilling this task religiously because nurses of this kind are the health frontliners that are urgently needed today. This year alone, several courses and trainings conducted by the college in partnership with the Department of Health and other groups have advanced the frontiers of nursing in a wide range of leadership areas. Their graduates are now practicing in different strategic places nationwide and sharing and influencing others to do the same. The COVID-19 pandemic the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, and the Universal Healthcare Act, among others, are pressing us to approach the realization of this program's goals from a public health perspective. Essentially, nurses who, who are the main players in their implementation are expected to bring a lot to the table in terms of advanced capabilities. And, Nurse Lead continues to prove successful in bringing this about. These unprecedented times call for no less than public health nurses, adept professional development, advocacy, interprofessional collaboration and communication, and teamwork. Filipinos deserve exceptional nurses, and our university is contributing to this aim. Those who are able to manage effectively and efficiently public health interventions provide integrated services along the continuum of care and are well versed with the project management cycles and financial management principles, and they are the game changers, much like the College of Nursing and UP Manila and all of you the graduates today. So once again, congratulations to the second batch of certified nurse leaders. Today, as we approach the birth of Jesus Christ, may our commitment to serve the community and train nurse leaders 
be our gifts of love to our countrymen, especially the poor. Mabuhay at congratulations po ulit sa mga magtatapos sa araw na ito. Thank you very much, um, Chancellor Padilla, for um, honoring our graduates with such inspiring words and at the same time recognizing the efforts of nurses um, in um, shaping the landscape of public health in the country. Now, uh, before we proceed further, um, we would like to invite again everyone to open their um, cameras and let us join um, our dear Chancellor for a photo opportunity. May I now turn over the floor um, to direct CJ? Okay. Already, nurses. Uh, we'll we'll have have panels. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, smile. Moving on to my next panel. One, two, three, smile. Moving on. One, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. Congratulations, Solette. Thank you very much. Uh, Chancellor, before you uh, leave, uh, maybe Earl, we can have uh, a, another one for the course uh, resource persons who are currently here with us as well. And can we pin them also so that uh, we have them in a complete row? <laughs> so, of course, I see a lot of familiar faces. <laughs> so, so CJ, can we pin the resource persons who are here with us? Uh, like, um, of course, uh, Professor Luz Dones, uh, yes. Professor uh, uh, Castor, Mom Castor, Palaganas. Castor. So yeah, and also see si Mom Annabel. So just put some pins para maka. Then we can have a photo op. So please bear with us, because this is a rare uh, moment also for us to be in one space. Nagluko yung ah, nag technical problem sa mo eh. So love to be here. But we're happy, Chancellor, that you're with us. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulty. Providential. <laughs> so, okay na ba? Have we identified? Uh, Joe Cariaso, who, uh, everyone, a part ng course team, uh, if we can have another uh, shot as well, uh, uh, a photo opportunity with the Chancellor. Okay na, CJ? I hope we're not missing... And I think Doc Ants Cordero, I saw him earlier. Yeah, si Caster, yeah. si Rita, si Joel. Pasensya na po kayo, mahilig sa photo o pa mga <laughs> collection. Pasensya rin kayo, maingay kasi ang aking kumpisina ay sa tapat ng hena. Eh, kapit ah, ko ang nursing. Hi, Chancellor. Hi, 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 Caster. And, and also the course facilitators and the course teaching assistants, no? If we can have them in one panel, Sana. So we can say the Yeah. Good afternoon, Chancy. Hi. Maski man lang Zoom, magkita tayo. Merry Christmas. Oo nga, eh. Merry Christmas. Okay na ba? So can we take a photo okay. now? So are we good? And also Ma'am Betty Merit is uh, here. I saw Ma'am so, Betty Merit. So we're adding you nakapin para mas makita kayo. Okay. I think I can't add more people na po sa spot. Ah, na. Ano na, nag-max na ba? <laughs> so i-photoshop na lang yung iba. <laughs> okay, let's take another one then. Uh, CJ, yeah. Hey, ready po tayo. One, two, three, smile. Moving on to my next panel. One, two, three, smile. And for the last time, one, two, three, smile. Thank you po. Maraming salamat at Merry Christmas ulit. Thank, Thank you very much. Merry Christmas po, Chancellor.
Merry Christmas po. Merry Christmas, Chancellor. Okay, back to you, Earl. Thank you, Dean. Now, uh, we would like to welcome um, on the virtual floor uh, the Southeast Asia lead from Johnson & Johnson Foundation, Ms. Wenny Tan, for her message. Today, on guests, nurses, and attendees, it is an honor to be here today. My name is Wendy, and I am a part of Johnson & Johnson's Global Community Impact Team here in Asia. First off, congratulations from us here at Johnson & Johnson Foundation on completing the UPCN Nurse Lead Program. We wish we could be there with you. We are so excited to see the positive change that you'll be making in the years to come. At JNJ, we have a long legacy of supporting and championing nurses and the critical role they play in elevating healthcare systems worldwide. Frontline health workers, especially nurses, midwives, and community health workers are often the first and only link between communities and health systems. Yet, we see that today's health workers, especially in the Philippines, continue to be challenged. Nurses in particular have been extremely challenged, both by existing issues as well as the pandemic. It is no secret that there is a healthcare workforce crisis. Without action, the WHO's projected shortfall of nurses will be close to a quarter of a million by 2030, unless greater action is taken. But no one entity can tackle this crisis on their own. We are glad to ally with UPCN with their recognized strengths in nursing education. Our collaboration aims to support effective leadership and management. Nurse leadership is critical in strengthening the primary and community health systems at every level. And we are so pleased to support you, future leaders, through this program. Together, we can build and strengthen our health workforce to provide high quality care for everyone. We want to take this opportunity to wish you all the very, very best in your future endeavors. And thank you so much for all that you do. This time, um, let's hear it from our own Department of Health. Uh, the director for um, from the Health Human Resource Development Bureau of the Department of Health. Um, let us welcome friends, Dr. Pretzel Tolentino for her message. Good afternoon and congratulations to our graduates of the Nurse Lead course, Batch 2. And uh, congratulations also to UP College of Nursing and to our sponsors. As a DOH, we are happy that you have conducted this course because we really need nurse leaders uh, in our fight against COVID and especially in our implementation of the Universal Healthcare Act. As nurse leaders, kayo po ang magiging frontliners natin sa pag-implement ng Universal Healthcare, sa pag-establish ng primary care networks, sa pag-implement po ng ating mga health regulations, health governance, health financing, health service delivery in the context of the network. Um, I, we are expectant that you, we, you will be our partners uh, in, in this endeavor. And we are hopeful and excited na magkakaroon tayo ng mas maraming nurse leaders. So, yung itong health system management, dati-dati ay ito ay trabaho lang ng doktor. Ngayon, hindi na natin ililimit sa mga doktor ang pagiging managers ng health system. Nurses, uh, kayo po ay kailangan din po ng mga doctors ninyo. At kaya kailangan nilang assistance ninyo in health systems management. So, we hope that you will continue this journey. And as you continue that, we hope na um, kayo talaga yung mag, uh, mag implement dito. At yung mga areas ninyo will just... Uh, be uh, models. We hope that they will uh, be models in the implementation of UHC. And before I end, I would just like to leave this uh, encouragement to you as leaders in your uh, respective health systems. Leadership is an opportunity to serve. It was never a title. It was never a position. Uh, it's about serving. 
Uh, and uh, I would just like to remind you that Jesus himself said that whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. This is, an, this is an example of the perfect leadership that we want. A leadership na nagsaserve. Uh, kasi yun talaga ang meaning ng leadership. And as we celebrate this Christmas, let us be reminded kung ano yung ginawa ni Jesus sa atin. Uh, he was a God and He came here as a man to save us all, to serve us all. And uh, Merry Christmas to all of you and uh, congratulations once again. Now let us welcome the president of the National Association of Public Health Nurses Incorporated and the former member of the Board of Nursing and one of our resource persons uh, to deliver her message again for our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Dr. Cora Anonuevo. In our session on strategic leadership, I would like to highlight three points. One, Leaders are not born, they are made. That is, good leadership skills can be learned and developed through practice. We must be proficient in influencing people to accomplish desired goals and being good as managers who are skillful in systems, process, and procedures. We strive to be transformational leaders, one who can push the organization's vision. As such, transformational leader is a strategic leader. Second point, leadership is a process, not a position. It is an action. Contemporary views on leadership have moved towards collaborative processes that take place in groups and communities. Leadership is tied to social responsibility and good citizenship, which connect to nurses' professional and ethical responsibilities to champion the right to health. At the front line, nurses collaborate with patients and use their influence to empower them to make positive change themselves. Not only do nurses influence others in their day-to-day -day work, but they have expert skills in the art of persuasion, a process that involves relationships and negotiation. Nurses' fear of influence as healthcare professionals goes beyond the individuals, families, groups, and communities they work with. It extends throughout the health sector, to nursing, midwifery, medical colleagues, and allied health colleagues, and to those with policy making power. Number three, a transformational leader must possess four attributes, the so-called four eyes, inspirational motivator, intellectual stimulator, individualized considerate, and idealized influencer or a role model. In short, a leader is an image, acronym for I, inspire, M, motivate, G, guide, and E, envision the future. So the leader is an image. Do not forget that a leader is also a good follower. While we aspire to be an assertive leader, one who is firm but humble, we should not be an aggressive leader, yung mayabang, bossy, diba? Being a follower does not mean a passive leader or a fence-sitter. Tagamasid lang, no? No hear, no see, no say. We don't appreciate that. Leadership is one of the core competencies for public health nurses. To be an effective transformational leaders, public health nurses should continue improving competencies 
as advanced practitioners in public health. We are doing this because the leader's commitment and action are for the common good, for the benefit of the poor, deprived, marginalized, and underprivileged. Now, listen, this is important. Never compromise your position. Use your discernment. Yung paghiging mapanuri o mapagkilatis as there are maybe people who may use health programs for their own interest or political motives. It is election time. Susuyuin ka ng mga politiko o ipipressure ka. Stay on the ground but don't antagonize them if possible. We are happy that you are part of this training, preparing yourselves to be ready and assume leadership roles in whatever work setting and level you are now. Nurses' ability to effect change is just as important as the technical ability to deliver safe and effective care at all levels of health service delivery. So the question, how ready am I to lead my transformation for the needed change in the communities and society? After this advanced training, I believe you will have the confidence to say, I am ready and committed to lead. Now, again, this is important. I would like to invite you to be members of the National Association of Public Health Nurses. This is the first in the Philippine history uh, that we have an organization of nurses from public health. So uh, it will be next year that we will really uh, we will really invite no, uh, uh, nurses in the field to join us uh, to this. NAPHN, National Association of Public Health Nurses. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anonuevo, for the timely um, reminder um, for all of us, especially for our honorees, our graduates, um, to hold on to their values on their way up. Now, at this point, uh, we would like to present to everyone the coverage um, of the nurse lead um, course um, in serving and championing uh, Filipinos and the health of our communities. Many are called, but few are chosen. The challenge um, continues beyond this um, completion ceremony. So ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome the graduates of batch two for the nurse lead training on advanced public health nursing practice.
a virtual round of applause for the graduates for batch two of the nurse lead training course on advanced public health nursing practice. Each of them will be receiving a certificate of completion coming from the University of the Philippines Manila College of Nursing with the following citation. The University of the Philippines Manila, the Health Science Center, College of Nursing, a World Health Organization collaborating center for leadership in nursing development, awards a certificate of completion to our public health nurse scholar who has successfully completed the nurse lead leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing, given this 20th day of December, 2021. Signed, this is Professor Josephine Carriasso, the program coordinator, and Dr. Sheila Bonito, Dean and Director. The actual copy of the certificate will be awarded on our upcoming Nurse Leader Summit. Now, at this point, we'd like to call on the virtual floor the coordinator of our Nurse Lead um, training for advanced public health nursing practice, Assistant Professor Josephine Carriasso, to deliver the recognition of our institutional partners. Ma'am Jo. Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations to our second batch of scholars. So, in behalf of the UP Manila College of Nursing, we would like to acknowledge the uh, great uh, contribution of the Johnson & Johnson Foundation towards uh, the uh, achievement of our scholars. So meron tayo mga bagong scholars na naman sa public health nursing, and this will not be possible without the assistance of Johnson & Johnson Foundation. Kasama po natin, uh, with the Johnson & Johnson Foundation is the Department of Health, the Health Human Resource Development Bureau. And this was represented by Dr. Pretzel uh, Valentino. Sila po ay nag-encourage ng participants from the different uh, uh, LGUs. At sila din po ay nagbigay ng circular na ang inyo pong uh, oras na ginugol sa pag-attend ng training na ito ay official. So, again, pasalamat, pasalamatan po natin sila kasi kung wala po sila, ito pong ating training program ay hindi natin maisasagawa. Again, thank you very much. Earl? Thank you, Ma'am Zoe. At this point, let us hear it from our own graduates to deliver their message of thanks. We call on from the City Health Office of Mabalakat, Pampanga, representing Luzon, Mr. Murphy Manlapas. Hello, everyone. First and foremost, I would want to express my gratitude to our Lord God Almighty for enabling me to participate in the nurse leadership course. It has been an incredible experience. I'd also like to thank Dr. Sheila Arbonito, Dean of College of Nursing, and the rest of the faculty for their unwavering support for public health. Of course, none of this would be possible without the help of our partner sponsor, Johnson & Johnson. We are grateful that you choose public health nurses as one of your beneficiaries, and we hope that your future projects will be even more successful. When the invitation letter arrived in our office and one of the staff of the City Health Office asked if I wanted to be part of the postgraduate course at the University of the Philippines, I didn't hesitate because I knew it would be a great experience. I, could, I couldn't believe I would be a student at the one of the best universities, not only in the Philippines, but the entire universe. On the other hand, I was nervous because I might fail, I might not be able to submit necessary activity requirements, add to the possibility of the terror and an approachable instructor because I thought majority of the professor at 
UP are strict because they are all intelligent and professionals in their fields. They are difficult to get along with and unapproachable. But you, the dean, the professors, the program coordinators, and the rest of the teaching staff have all proven me wrong. You're all fantastic instructors who, despite your knowledge and expertise in your profession, know how to connect with your students. The nurse lead post-graduate course on advanced practice in public health nursing strengthened my leadership management, management skills at our healthcare settings, as well as my ability to conduct population-based program. To think in system approach and collaborate with other health professionals and community leaders. We, the student, we are able to display not only clinical, but also leadership qualities in delivery of primary care in the context of population-based health program. At the conclusion of the course, I am certain that we are all qualified and empowered to give not only basic, but advanced health services, and that my colleagues will utilize this training course as foundation to being advocates and voices, not just for nurses, but also for our patients. I am hoping that this is not the end, but rather the beginning of our journey where nurses are not assistant to doctors, but partners and also a key player in our own health settings where nurse leaders are empowered, well equipped in delivering efficient, effective and equitable health services. Remember, we nurse leaders are making impact in our country's healthcare system. Once again, thank you. God bless Mabalakat, Dakal Pong Salam. Thank you, Mr. Manlapas. This time, let us hear it um, from our colleagues representing the Visayas. May we call on um, from the TRC Cebu, Ms. Margaret Melanie Bacalia. Good day, everyone. My name is Margaret Melanie Barron Bacalia from Cebu City. Currently, I am a nurse one and the OPD coordinator of the Department of Health Treatment and Rehabilitation Center Cebu, exclusive for females. Leadership course for advanced practice in public health nursing has been a great and rare opportunity for new knowledge, even with the current pandemic that brought us to the new normal. This course, though it specifically highlights public health nursing, most of the topics involved are still relatable and applicable as the demand for leadership development increased over the years. This module for me was like enrolling again in a master's degree class, only shorter. And I have learned so much, which quite frankly, few of the topics discussed in person, I did not come across with before. Like with the systems thinking, as discussed, it is seeking to understand the connections among elements in a system. I think this is something that can be implemented in other areas and not just in public health. But to rather stay focused in healthcare, especially as a nurse, we nurses tend to see what others may fail to see, say, as simple as cutting up trees to make papers or build houses. That's typically the obvious, but what nurses see in the cutting of trees are the possible future health problems brought about by floods and landslides, which affect not just people, but the environment and the system as a whole. So with the leadership, combined with interprofessional collaboration, we nurses seek to be the agent of change. A very great learning, which I gained from this module. The most significant topic that I can surely apply to my current role as the OPD coordinator is the leadership skills, collaborative practice, and management of services and programs. Communication was among the topics discussed in this course. Though it is a very simple word, and we may have come across for this term even before we went to school as kids, this is indeed a very delicate topic in the leadership, collaborative practice, and management area. For us to become effective leaders, managers, or, co or coordinators in whatever area we may be, effective communications should be learned over time. With that being said, I would like to thank everyone in this course team and sponsors. Thank you very much to the University of the Philippines, Manila, College of Nursing for doing such a great job. UP Manila has been known to be one of the best schools in the entire country, and I'm very lucky to have witnessed and 
nakapaghalubilo pa ako, even if it's only by online. It's a great deal to be here and to listen to the words of wisdom of everyone in this course. As cliche as it may sound, many are called but few are chosen. Hindi ko na expect na isa ako sa mga napili since my my Tagalog speaking skills is very dry, but I was still trying so hard. I would like to thank Johnson's and Johnson's for sponsoring this course. Napakalaki bagay na ito para sa aming mga nurses, considering that it is a free course with CPD units to makapagtapos talaga sa capstone project. It has been marvelous speaking and listening to everyone in this course. Thank you and God bless to everyone and also advance Merry Christmas. Thank you. Um, this time from the Mindanao Cluster. Let us hear it from Paul Ricci Pelos of Putuan Medical Center. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my honor to give message in behalf of the students of Mindanao regions who have been selected to attend this nurse lead advanced practice for public health nursing. Right from the very beginning, I find the course very interesting and uplifting because I believe I will gain a lot from my instructors and my classmates. We may have this course via online, but the topics laid before this program has taught me to be a nurse leader in the field of public health. I learned a lot of insights from the top caliber speakers and heard helpful opinions from my classmates. To be a leader is already innate in us, but through this course, it unleashes the best leadership skills that is waiting to be triggered. Leadership skills should not be a destination, but a journey to share to our fellow health workers in the field of caring profession. The project management, financial management, risk assessment, and many more topics has impacted my life's journey in this noble cause. Last five days ago, my region, Karaga region, has been intensely hit by Typhoon Udet. But as a public health nurse, our call to serve left me behind in the compound of hospital taking the lead as senior nurse manager. Resilient as it may, breaking boundaries and bouncing back is what my goal in achieving a sustainable programs for my fellow health workers in the community and clinical setting. I would like to thank the UP College of Nursing for making this program a reality, for coming up with this brilliant course program. Ours is to keep the learning and put into action. And finally, thank you, Johnson and Johnson, for being a true partner of sustainable learning development for the nurse leaders. Your company is a great blessing to all of us. To this end, I congratulate my fellow graduates in this course. I mean, the learnings that we learn will put into action and reality. Lucia Lux Vestra, let your light shine. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. And finally, to represent the National Capital Region, we'd like to call on the Assistant Project Manager of the Philippine Commission on Women, Ms. Carmen Roselli Lopez, for her message. Good afternoon, Carmen. everyone. Hi, Sir Earl. Yeah. Happy Christmas um, to those celebrating. And I know that we are all praying for a uh, better 2022 for everyone. Um, let me take this opportunity to express my sincerest thanks to the organizers, to the team behind Nurse Lead, uh, especially to the UP College of Nursing headed by Dean Sheila. And with support from Johnson & Johnson Global Community Impact and um, Give to Asia Foundation Incorporated. All the resource persons, teaching assistants, and everyone else who made this program possible. I am honored to join this batch too, alongside these courageous frontliners. The Filipino is worth nursing for. This has been my battle cry for the past 14 years of my professional career. And this has been the reason why I have stayed on in this country 
serving our people. From the time I was still a student nurse, Sir Earl knows that, when I was first exposed to the community, and then I found out the story of Rosario through UP Comed and the global health course offered by UP Manila. And now joining this program, I'm reminded of why I'm here, why I'm doing all the things that I'm doing for this country and for our people. There's so, so, still so much work to be done to achieve health for all, despite the UHC law being passed. Thank you once again to the nurse lead team and to all my co-participants. Even in the midst of a pandemic, we are gathered here. We have been gathered for two months to learn and learn, relearn from each other on leadership, collaboration, and management. And we are reminded that we are not alone in what we are doing. I remember that from our conversations also with Mom Jono and, and with Mom Rita in our small group discussions. I hope that even if the work is tiring, maybe never falter nor fear because we have each other to support and to really, really fight for health for all. Thank you for the inspiration on, um, to everyone who made this course possible. Nurses ng bayan, paglikuran ng sambayanan. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much, Carms. And as we say in UP, padayon. Now, um, at this point, we would like to invite our graduates to our upcoming summit as we celebrate 2022, a World Health Day. So we all look forward um, to meeting all of you in person in Clark, okay, on 2022. So um, may we also remind everyone, uh, our dear graduates, okay, to accomplish our um, survey. The link is shown on the screen and um, it will also be shared in our chat box. And you can also look, okay, for the link on our course site um, in our UPC and VLE. Likewise, um, before we move on to uh, the concluding part of the program, uh, we would like to recognize also you know, joining us, okay, um, also would be one, um, two of our resource persons. So we, we like to acknowledge Dr. Feli Marilyn Lorenzo and Dr. Josefina Tuazon for joining us in this afternoon's occasion. So may we invite once again everybody, this time with um, your virtual filter on for our photo opportunity. Since now you're officially graduates, in fact, and hopefully in principle, no? <laughs> um, to use, by the way, um, mamaya, no? may two shots po tayo, no? direct CJ, tama po ba? Uh, first shot, um, yung serious and then yung second shot po you can use the virtual uh, filter uh, wearing a hat no wearing a toga to signify again your completion of the course CJ okay pa so titingnan po ako dun sa iba mag ready yeah okay so mayroon po tayong tatlong panels ready na po tayo tingin po sa camera one two three smile Moving on to my next panel. Tingin po sa camera. One, two, three, smile. Last panel na po. Ready? One, two, three, smile. Alright. So on na po natin yung uh, virtual filters. 
Yeah. Pwede po natin gayahin si Ma'am uh, Carmen na kapang-graduate. <laughs> ganap na ganap. Ayan, sa so mga graduates po natin. Graduation cap. Uh, so, challenge pa yan. Hinahanap nila. Nasaan daw yung group <laughs> So yeah, so may example na tayo. So si Carms uh, is already wearing um, yung kanyang hat. Hindi po namin alam yung hat. Sabi nyo na. Nasaan po yung... Yun, so si Murphy, yun na. Nakuha na ni Murphy. Hindi po namin alam. Okay. Ano po? Graduates na lang yan, no? Yes po, Ma'am Eli. Oo, di na kami sasali dyan. Di na po tayo magsusot na. Oh. <laughs> oh, ano po yun, mga mga... Nasa... Click nyo po ang ating uh, video icon. Video? Kung saan po merong virtual background, may nakalagay po ng virtual filter. Lang po. So, virtual filter po, select nyo lang po yung toga. Video. Yun, si, si, J, uh, si Brian, okay na, si JJ. Okay, okay na. So, challenge mo na, no? Hindi rin makakatagaw ng certificate of completion. <laughs> naka-cellphone po ako, so hindi pwede. Ah, so, pag naka-cellphone, hindi magagawa. Yeah, naka-cellphone po kami. Sorry okay po. lang. Sige, yung mga naka-PC, uh, sige po, go ahead. Kami po naka-cellphone. So, while waiting, no? Um, naisa po namin paalalahanan. Okay na... Although we have already uh, recognized everyone, okay, in this certificate, uh, sorry, in this uh, completion ceremony, take note that um, your requirements, okay, has to be submitted, and uh, with the generosity of the team, especially the dean, um, it is extended until January 14. So we're expecting again um, your output, okay, particularly your capstone project proposals not later than January 14 of 2022. And that will make you eligible, okay, for the nurse summit, okay, and to get the public health kit, particularly the stethoscope that we have um, prepared for all of you. Hopefully the the COVID situation will not worsen, no? So that's still, uh, uh, that's still a consideration no, for all. So much as we would like to meet face-to-face, -face, we need to follow the rules. Uh, so, so we really hope that uh, I know that you're working hard sa mga vaccination programs, no? So, but uh, we know the risk. So, so we we will also um, follow ko ano yung uh, IATF rules by the time that uh, we're planning to have the 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 face-to-face -face nurse lead summit, sana. Crossing our fingers, po. <laughs> so I think pwede na tayo, ano? Direct CJ. Okay po. So, tingin na po tayo lahat sa camera. One, two, three, smile. Moving on to my next panel. One, two, three, smile. Last na po. One, two, three, smile. Thank you very much po. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you CJ. Congratulations again um, to our batch too. And now, Thank you, Pope. To officially close our completion ceremony, may we call on the virtual floor one of the members of our um, team and resource person, the Associate Professor Luz Barbara Pambidones for the closing. Ma'am Luz? Ang hapon sa lahat. Uh, since I started working as UPC and faculty teaching public health nursing in 1989, my former teachers in public health nursing, former deans and the late uh, Professor Thelma Corsega and Dr. Aurora Yapchonko, and retired Professor Dr. Araceli Maglaya, were the strongest and permanent influence in my nursing career. The most important concept that they always make a point of about public health nursing is that it is population-based. The patient is the community, the family is the unit of care, and there are four levels of clientele, individual, family, population group, and the community. In the health centers that we are affiliated with, the health center staff, especially the nurses, cannot understand 
why we do not assign our students to go on duty in the health center. Instead, we ask them to handle families and population groups and barangays and conduct activities such as community diagnosis, program planning, implementation, and evaluation activities. Um, we ask them to conduct capacity building activities such as uh, BHW skills training and supervisory activities and partnership uh, building with different sectors in the community. Uh, all these activities were actually competency development on management and supervision. In this course, a number of you mentioned that you are newbies in public health nursing and therefore are still trying to find their way into holding more responsibilities in management and supervision. However, majority of you said that you learned the ropes of PHN dahil isinabak kayo sa actual na trabaho. There is no other way uh, but up for you, a leader, manager, and collaborator. We hope that this course will allow you to shine in your practice. The UHC and the Mandanas are the best support for you to realize the advanced practice career path that the PR Board of Nursing, the PQF, and the AQRF set for you. Congratulations, this is not the end, but just the beginning of more responsibilities and higher level of practice in the nursing profession. Mabuhay ang public health nurses, mabuhay ang public uh, health nursing. Thank you. Salamat po, Ma'am Luz, at mabuhay po tayong lahat. At dyan po nagtatapos ang ating pong completion ceremony. Harinawa ang baon ninyong um, alaala at mga natutunan ay uh, magsilbing tanglaw um, sa pagpapatuloy at sa pagharap sa mas magandang 2022. So congratulations po ulit at maligayang Pasko sa ating lahat. Thank you po. Thank you po. Salamat. Congratulations. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.